Nancy. How's it going? Pretty good. Meaning... Are you familiar with the legend of the so-called crystal skulls? Is that where aliens supposedly scattered a bunch of perfectly formed crystal skulls all around the world like thousands of years ago? And all the skulls have different magical powers? Something like that, yeah. Apparently Henry's uncle was the proud owner of the Whisperer, the skull that was supposed to make whoever owned it live forever. Only now he's dead and another superstition bites the dust. Maybe, maybe not. See, this book I found in Bruno's library said no one who has owned the Whisperer has ever died of natural causes. So how did they die? They were all murdered. Come on, you don't believe that Crystal Skull stuff is true, do you? I'm not sure what I believe yet. But right now, what I think doesn't matter. The people who knew Bruno had the skull, if one of them believed in the Whisperer's power, they may have figured the only way they'd ever be rid of Bruno was to cause his death. But didn't he die of a stroke or something? Heart attack. Well, there you go. Natural causes. Heart attacks can be induced. You've been watching too many of those forensic detective shows. That may be, but what's really interesting is the skull is missing. That is interesting. And I'll bet you anything that's what my bony friend in the red ascot was looking for. Does Henry know where the skull is? He doesn't know anything about it. At least, that's what he says. But if that skull is still around here, I intend to find it. I kind of figured that. While I was picking mushrooms for Rene, I almost lost my hand to one of Bruno's pets. You have a big dog or something? A big alligator named Bernie. How can you make a pet out of an alligator? Apparently by exploiting their fondness for marshmallows. Well, stay away from them. I like your hands just the way they are. I can't quite figure out whether Rene neglected to tell me about him by accident or on purpose. Hey, if you're not sure, you'd better stay away from her. Henry confessed that he sold off some of Bruno's things because he needed money to keep his girlfriend's summer happy. She's high maintenance, huh? Extremely. You're so lucky. Hey, don't I know it. Think he sold off the crystal skull? I don't think so, no. He acts like he's never heard of the Crystal Skull. And so the search goes on. Bruno Bollet's doctor, Gilbert Buford, was apparently Bruno's best friend as well. Think Bruno told him about the skull? Yes. In fact, Dr. Buford told Bess that Bruno showed it to him once. But apparently he told Bruno the skull was bogus, and Bruno got a little ticked off. Never showed it to him again. Well, when it comes to murdering someone and making it look like a heart attack, a doctor's got to be right up there when it comes to suspects. Don't worry, I've been thinking the same thing. So what else is going on? In order to find that crystal skull, it looks like I'm going to have to find all of Bruno's glass eyes. Bruno wore a glass eye? He wore a lot of glass eyes. Not all at once, of course, but from this box I found in his study, it looks like he had at least 25. What makes you think finding them will lead you to the skull? Something Bruno said to Professor Hotchkiss, whom I've met before, by the way, in Wisconsin. Did I ever tell you about her? Why does that name bring boots to mind? Boots and cheese. Anyway, it turns out she's an expert on the crystal skulls. So Bruno called her once, and when she asked him if he knew where the skull called the Whisperer was, he said, the eyes have it. He meant eyes with an E instead of an A. Right. Did he lose all these eyes or hide them on purpose? I'm pretty sure he hid them on purpose. And I thought Henry was weird. I'd better get going. Great hearing from you. Keep it up. I will. Talk to you soon. You'd better. Bye. Hello? Hi, Bess. How you doing? Great. I just took a nice, luxurious bubble bath, and I'm ready to boogie. When are you coming back here? That's still kind of hard to say, but listen... Remember that old photo of a boy and his dog you said you saw in that box of stuff Henry sold to Lamont? Yeah. Did it look like it was maybe taken in the 1920s? That's exactly what it looked like. Why? Because I need to find out the name of Bruno Bollet's dog. And if that boy was Bruno, then that was probably his dog. Was there any writing on the picture? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think it said Bruno. That's all it said? Just Bruno? No, it, it said Bruno and, but whatever came after and was hidden by the frame. I really need to know the name of that dog. Oh, no. No, you don't. 
No more snooping. Uh-uh. Best, just get into that box again and see if the dog's name is on that picture. That's all I want you to do. How? I can't just go waltzing into Lamont's back room. And he's for sure as heck not going to fall for that sneeze contraption again. There must be some other way you can distract him. Please, Bess, I can't tell you how important this is. You've got to do this for me. Please? Absolutely, unequivocally, for the last time, no. Ah, who am I kidding? We're not going to have any fun here until you solve this mystery, and since you can't do that until I do this... Okay. I'll sneak into the back room and take another look at that photo. I mean, I will if I don't screw up. Think positive, Bess. You're going to do fine. You bet I am. In fact, I'm not going to call you again until I have seen that picture. I'm going in. You go, girl.